We are right now in, let's say, the phase when 100 gigs has become mainstream. Uh, for most of the new builds in the operator uh, environment, 100 gig is uh, pretty much the go-to speed that people are deploying right now. 100 gig is uh, the major component now of spending uh, on optical transmission. The uh, next step, logically, seems to be 200. Uh, and the reason uh, why is that it's still deployable in the 50 gig uh, spectrum, so it's a, it's a credible upgrade, let's say, for, uh, for a lot of operators. So 200 is going to be very important. Obviously, the, uh, the question of reducing the complexity of the site and uh, improving uh, the performance uh, at the site uh, without, without increasing the complexity. It's a very attractive uh, proposition. And I think that OXC is one way of solving that problem, which seems to be garnering a lot of attention. And uh, obviously the market traction that you're mentioning is a very important uh, confirmation of, um, you know, the customers have uh, confidence in that kind of solution. It's one way of, uh, you know, solving a certain set of problems, it's a very interesting solution, especially when it comes to the simplicity of operation that it offers compared to other uh, solutions that uh, kind of achieve similar results. So I think it's, uh, it's a very interesting uh, step in the direction of uh, reducing uh, complexity and also improving flexibility of optical networks. It is going to uh, slowly develop as a uh, facilitator for decision making in the management and control. In time, um, start making some of those decisions uh, automatically itself. Uh, obviously requiring some training in, uh, in the process and also requiring some, um, let's say, state-of-the-art uh, algorithms and algorithm development and so on. So it, it's going to be very interesting to, uh, to see when we are going to see these uh, advancements that are going to allow us to automate uh, much more and to run optical uh, networks in a much more flexible way. AI is going to be one of the key components to allow for, that, for automation of some of the processes that were not open or not susceptible to automation um, up until now.